Climate change expert Olumide Ido, who joins us now on the program for more discussions. Thank you for your time. Let's begin with what your thoughts are on this new report uh, by the African Union and the WMO. That is, how worried should we be? Thank you very much. I hope you can hear me. Well, we need to be worried because uh, since we've started going to conference of party, I think the 100 billion they mentioned supposed to end last year. And the delivery plan, we don't even know what is happening. So my quick point is the, uh, the, the Global Center for, on Adaptation and the African Adaptation Initiative and the African Group of Negotiators, they really have a lot to do because this is one of the key uh, uh, priority for us as we are moving to COP26, climate finance, money, those are the things that Africa need to actually look into. Because if you have not been able to meet the 100 billion, what are we going to talk about in COP26? Climate finance, adaptation, mitigation, and all other relevant uh, 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 issues that we need to look into. So it is high time for us to start looking at how to tackle the challenges that it requires on adaptation at the heart of African recovery. And if you can also look at the global pandemic, it has already caused a lot of havoc for African countries because we are the receiving end. So for me, I think the developed country, they need to show us their delivery plans so that the, the 100 billion, so-called 100 billion, that they said they are going to be input per year, we need to know the plan, we need to be part of it, and we need to be part of the implementation. Now we are hearing another plan of five, close to 500. So uh, close to 50. So what is our plan moving to COP26? If we don't have plan for what we need through our African group of negotiators, then we are just going there as a normal jamboree and as a normal vacation. So that is what I'm thinking. And I'm also saying that the issue will not end until we have that negotiators been doing the right thing on our behalf and the behalf of people. Thank you. Well, this latest report on the state of Africa's climate seems to paint a dire picture of the continent's ability to be able to adapt to this increasingly frequent weather disasters. Can, can this be averted or, you know, what should we do? What, can, what should we begin to do to mitigate this individually and even as a community or as a government and as di for different African nations? Yeah, thank you very much. I think uh, for a country like Nigeria with close to population of 200 million, I think it is high time for individuals to start looking at what, can I, what kind of change can I drive internally. We've been talking about adaptation, we've been talking about mitigation. Technology that are very, very expensive, how will you and I invest into that to make sure that we do something locally? So, it is high time we drive advocacy. It is high time we drive information that will make people to understand their responsibility without waiting for the government. We have floodings every time. We have a uh, uh, desertification. We have a uh, sea level rise. All these things, as the people, we need to start demanding for the right justice towards it. That's why a lot of people are not talking about climate justice. And if we continue to say or continue to talk about this, to give us access to that financing to meet the need of our environment. And let me quickly mention this, the direct access entity, how much funding can we even African country assess? Do we have the techniques? Do we have the understanding? Do we have the backup for us to even assess finances for our adaptation and mitigation program? So as individual, it is high time we start raising our voice on advocacy. Start from your own, keep your environment sustainable so that people will be able to understand that we are not only waiting for the government, but we are doing our little a bit that we can do internally. Because if we don't do that, we are not going anywhere. So anything for us, without us, it is not for us. Thank you very much. All right, then. Thank you so much, climate change expert Olumide Idowu. Thank you for your thoughts. Thank you.